I see you've come to your senses. Well, I know what I have to do. Good. You're gonna get me out of here, smart man. You know, I've listened to your threats, and I've watched you try to control me and the situation. I gotta hand it to you, Diana. You're in top form. Always looking out for yourself, aren't you? Like anybody else would? Yeah. You know, I could understand why you would say that. Even though it's not true. Who, you? Yeah, me. Why not me? Well, I could think of a few reasons. You know, there's something that I've wanted to do ever since I saw you back here. Jeffrey, look, I don't need a mu- <laughs> What was that? My goodbye present? Well, let's just say that I wanted to show you how I feel. How you feel? Since when? I've tried to get close to a few people in my life, but it never worked out. I always pushed them away. I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was afraid. But with you, there's something that keeps pulling me back. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I know you better than anyone? Maybe. Then I don't judge you. And you make me feel alive. What do you want, Jeffrey? What do I want? I want you. You're serious? I want you and I want us to go away together. Yes, I'm serious. And how would you pull something like that off? Well, first of all, we, you know, we can't let this thing go to trial. That would be way too risky, so I've got to figure out some way to spring you out of here. Wow, you do that all for me? Of course I'd do it for you. We could go anywhere you want. <laughs> anywhere. Wow. Do you remember Monaco? <laughs> I do. Yes, Monaco was a blast. This is very sudden. Hmm? You're the one that told me that I don't belong here, right? That I'll never fit in here. You won't. You're not going to fit in here either. I could. You want these people hmm, constantly judging you? Do you want those people around you all the time? No. You need that about as much as I do. Well, mm -hmm. you're right about that. OK, so what do you say? Huh? Let's get out of here. You would really leave this place and just throw away your career? I was leaving anyway. Yeah, I know, but you'd have to break the law and throw your life away. I'm gonna start a new life with you. Hmm. Well, that means that we would be on the run, and uh, that's not a walk in the park. And what would we do for money? I would take care of you, Dinah. Now, haven't I always taken care of you? Hmm. We could go to that chalet in the Alps. You love the snow. You could ski all day. We could spend our nights in front of the fire. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that sounds incredibly romantic, yes, but how long could that last? How about forever? Huh? Come on. We're gonna get out of here, and we'll leave these messed up people to their messed up lives. And leave Cassie to her life. This isn't about you wanting me. This is about you wanting to protect Why Cassie. do you have to always think about it like that? Well, see, because that's what it is. You're leaving a woman to protect her. Very simple. I'm offering you something here, something that could be perfect, and all you can think about is Cassie. All I can think about Cassie? No, excuse me. I think I have a few other things to worry about here. I told you, I will never, ever be her stand-in again. You'd rather go to prison. Oh, I'm not going to prison because you're going to get me out of here. I can't stop this case, Diane, okay? Get that through your head. The case is moving forward. If it does, I will tell Cassie every single thing, every dirty little thing, and she'll hate you. Well, she's hated me before, and she's going to hate me again. You just made a big mistake. Stay put, okay? Hello, Dinah. Tammy, what are you doing here? 
Why did you come back here? Well, to face up to what I did, I made a mistake. A mistake? You murdered Hart. I know I, I did something terrible. And I'm going to regret that every single day for the rest of my life. Well, it's not going to bring Hart back. It won't do anything. There's nothing I can say at all that's going to take away your pain. But I, I, I know that you loved him. And I loved him, too. Oh, that's right. You were gunning for my mom. Tammy, I am sorry. I don't care. And I know you keep telling everybody that you've changed, but I don't believe it. And I will never forgive you for what you did. Whoa, lady, why don't you sit back down? You OK? I'm fine. If I would have known who you were back at the farm, I would have turned you into the cops myself. I'm sure you would have. You were very lucky to have a guy like this care for you so much. I take it you guys are back together? I've been around long enough in town to hear what's been going on. My cousin Lizzie, is she still giving you problems? Cousin? It's over now. Yeah. You are as sweet and pure as your mom is. Let me tell you something. If you learn one thing from my presence in your life, you should watch out for girls like me who tend to love a little too much. Let me tell you something, Dinah. I'm not scared. And neither is my mom. You can't hurt us ever again. So, what were you doing with RJ? I know that you were his imaginary friend. Mm-hmm. So what were you hoping to accomplish? Were you going to get him to trust you and then kidnap him? What? Oh, my God. RJ is Hart's son. I helped bring him into this world. I would never do anything to hurt that boy. But you would do something to hurt Cassie. No. If I wanted to hurt Cassie or RJ, I had plenty of opportunities. So your life in the run has changed you, is that it? You wouldn't kill anyone, but blackmail's all right? Well, I prefer to call it self-preservation. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't matter. Cassie is more determined than ever to see that you're prosecuted to the full extent of the law, and I'm not so inclined to disagree. Well, I think maybe you should rethink that. Because if I go down, you go down with me. Don't you look at me like that. I only have your best interests at heart. Oh, I see. So my best interests are your best interests? Yeah, something like that. You know, this is not about you losing Cassie. This is about me seeing you hit Jeffrey over the head with a shovel, cause the fire that nearly killed her and her son. Oh, how I wish you were trapped in that barn. Oh, well, that's not very nice, Edmund. Look, I like you. I just hate the idea of both of us going to prison. Well, it would almost be worth it to know how much you'd be suffering. You don't mean that. Don't I? No. You're a very smart man, and you're going to figure out a way to fix this. If I ever think that you're a threat to Cassie and her children again, I will tell her everything. And risk losing her? I don't think so. I think that you want to hang on to her. I think I've seen that firsthand. Don't test me. Okay. Look, I don't want to get ugly here. I want to keep your secrets. I really do. Wait, I know I have to do now. I need a favor, and I need you to be discreet.